Hi everyone, it's Arlene with Design with Arlene. Well, now that fall is in full swing and Halloween is just around the corner, I thought that I would make a little treat bag that is Halloween themed. So this is the paper that I'm using to get to make this fun little treat bag. I started out with a piece of um, eight and a half by 11, the pumpkin pie cardstock, and then I just cut it down the middle lengthwise so that I'm left with a piece that is 11 inches by four and a fourth. And then I also have some of Stampin' Up's um, designer series paper. It's the Monster Bash, and that is in the holiday catalog. And these are double-sided, but I'm using this side with the spider webs. This one's cut at four inches by one and a quarter inches. And then I have this little strip here that's four inches by half an inch. And then I also have a couple pieces of just scraps, one in very vanilla and one in basic black. Now, remember all of the dimensions are going to be on my blog, so if you don't get them now and you don't have a piece of um, paper and something to write with, don't worry about it. You can just go straight over to my blog. All right, so we are going to score this piece of the pumpkin pie. So let me get my scoreboard out. And going to be scoring it at one at three and a half and five and a half, nine, and one more at nine and a half. Okay. And then next what we're going to, what I'm going to do is on the section that is the kind of the square that that doesn't have you see these are the smaller um, scored lines and then you have a larger panel here smaller and then a larger the one that's the large one on the very end I'm going to actually take a um, the one the nested stitched dies right here and I'm going to put place this die cut right here and we're going to die cut that area out and then go ahead and run it through my Big shot and we'll get that cut out. Yeah, got a little bit, edge. okay, right there. Now, since we have the die machine out, let's go ahead and cut out a couple of pieces here. So on the very vanilla cardstock, I'm going to be cutting out just a little circle. Okay, these dies are from the Layering Circles die set. So cutting that out. And then again with the same die set, I've got the little scalloped edge circle. I'm going to be cutting that out in the black. Yeah, I've got a pretty warped <laughs> plate, if you can see that. I really need to get that one replaced, don't I? So you'll notice that these, this black scalloped, let me get the big shot out of the way, but this is just a slightly bigger. So you're really not going to see much of that scalloped edge here. It's just slightly bigger. Okay. And now that we have our pumpkin pie cardstock, and I've got the scalloped black circle, just set that one aside. And then taking some memento black ink using the wonderfully wicked stamp set. That's that just screams Halloween, doesn't it? All right, I am going to take the spider web. Okay, and then with the black ink, ink that up. So this actually is going to be facing, this is upright. So let's just put this spider web just in the top here. Okay, and then also I've got this little spider that I think is the coolest spider. He's kind of scary looking, but we'll make it fun. Okay, this is just gonna be a spider right here. I just want to stamp him right in the middle of that circle right there. Like that. And then we'll want to glue the two pieces together. Okay, and that, can you believe that is all the stamps that I'm going to use today? 
for this project anyway. Okay, and then on the other side, I'm going to take those two pieces of the pattern paper and let's see, okay, let's go ahead and just glue these on to this top panel. So this top layer, see, I went ahead and um, just go ahead and fold your score lines. They're all going to be going in the same direction. And you've got this little panel up here at the top and place your, your bigger piece of cut designer series paper like this, just place it right there. And then with the strip, I'm going to place it on to the one side. So you can make it really, if you wanted the top edge or the bottom edge, it doesn't matter because like I said, you're flipping it over. Okay, so we've got this so far like this. And then I have a little piece of candy or it's there. It's a little bag of candy. It's a Ziploc bag. These particular bags, they have a um, like a Ziploc at the top, but they're really clear. They're not, um, sometimes you get these little baggies that have the Ziploc and they're not as clear. They're a little bit, not as transparent. These particular ones I got at clearbags.com. They are the three by four by two mil. All right, so the, this is going to be going inside here, and I am going to take some, actually, I think I'll take some tear tape. I was going to staple it, but I think I'm gonna just take some tear tape and just put it right up here. Probably so then the person that you're giving it to doesn't have to fight with that staple. Okay. Now you can also see, I so I put a little bit of um, some of these purple Hershey's, it's the dark chocolate. And since I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate, it helps me from wanting to get into that bag of Hershey's Kisses because I love them so much. And then I got some of these um, candy corn with the pumpkins because it's just festive, oops. And then I also, if you can see that I stuck a little bat ring. These I just got picked up at the dollar store and I thought that would be kind of fun. And then you just want to place it so it's showing through that window right there. Okay, and I just glued it on there, taped it on, and then I'm going to wrap this around like this and glue that down. Like this. There we go. Okay, so you've got a little bit of that showing through. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and put that spider on. And I've just got some um, stamp dimensionals. And I think I just need probably one here. Okay, put that up on the side. Looking good, I have one more thing for this. And that is these red rhinestone jewels here. I thought this would go great to turn that black spider into a really scary one. We're just going to put a little red dot and there right in the middle. So it's that scary spider. It gives a little bit of a bling. Okay. And that is a wonderful um, little goodie bag that you can give out for um, your friends since at the Halloween time. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thanks for subscribing and have a wonderful day. Bye.